Another session of shooting with Dr. Jim. This time we're going to shooting we're going to shoot the modern Colt pythons. I had one that was um, original one. I have a real good friend, Roland Rodriguez, which was a world class shooter, and uh, he worked that python over. It's an old python, made 1949-50, something like that and be a six inch barrel, beautiful gun. I carried it with me for years and years. I got in two or three altercations with it over the years to save my life. But uh, anyway, I, and I shot a lot of um, rattlesnakes with it because I had bird shot. That's another thing I'll talk to you about right now. I loaded these shells. They've got number seven and a half shot in them. And uh, they've got a pretty good, just almost like a, as much as a, a 410. There's two I loaded. This one here is a factory load. You can get these factory load bird shot for varmints. You know, maybe you have something uh, that you don't want to shoot and endanger somebody close because the bird shot won't go very far. But you can get them in a 45 ACP, a 9 millimeter. You can get them in 38 Special, 357 Magnum, and 44 uh, Special, and also 45 Colt, and maybe even some other calibers. That's what those I have. All of those. Anyway, this is some of the I carry this with me all the time. With that, that. Here's a Colt Python presentation model. I traded a uh, 1873 trapdoor carbine or trapdoor rifle with this that was made in 1873. It was about 90% condition. This is a beautiful gun. It shoots beautifully. I'm not going to shoot it today because I cleaned it up real good. <laughs> and it's not uh, easy to clean either. There's uh, what it looks like. The action on this thing. See, nothing's in it. The double action on a Colt Python is unbelievable, unbelievable in smoothness. You can shoot just as smooth just about in double action with this you can in single action. That's a beautiful gun, fully engraved. Rosewood handles. And it shoots like a rifle. But I'm not going to shoot that today. Now we have another Colt Python, modern one. This is a four inch barrel. That one was a six inch barrel. This one I shoot often. I carry this with me. It's 357 Magnum, both of them are. But you can shoot 38 specials. You can even shoot 38 Smith and Wessons if you want the little short things. But this one here, the uh, sights are beautiful on it. It shoots very well. Uh, they're fantastic guns. Again, the double action on a Python is unbelievably smooth. The new models uh, have a little problem with a hammer. Uh, the trigger will stick with magnum loads sometimes and you have to send it back to the factory. I figured out how to fix it myself. That one there, I had one of the other ones I bought, I tr traded a, like I said, the Winchester, or not Winchester, but the uh, Springfield 73 rifle for it and it trigger stuck. First time I shot it, trigger stuck. So I took it back to the guy that I traded for and he was a gun dealer and he sent it back and they sent me a brand new gun. It took about six months to get it, but I got a brand new gun and, and it doesn't stick. That gun is beautiful. I had to sight the other one in. This one I didn't have to sight in, it was dead on. They did a better job on that one. We're, we're gonna shoot this one six times and uh, like I said, the modern ones are really beautiful guns. They, they, they make these mass production and just hand fitted at last. The other ones are all hand fitted custom guns. All the old Colt Pythons were my other one. I tell you what, nothing shot like that. So we're going to shoot this now six times.
down here. I won't shoot it to other targets, but this this thing hits too hard to shoot those little targets. bullets were exploding when they hit the target and I got it propped up pretty good where it doesn't lean over as bad as it did before thank you for your attention thank you for watching please like and subscribe and I hope that I'm helping some of you always remember keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire and always wash your hands after you're shooting to get the toxins off your hands and wash your hands with cold water and soap, not hot water. Hot water will open your pores and the toxins will go into your system. Thank you very much. God bless you. We'll have another one for you.